Welcome back to another Monday night tournament here hosted by the Goose House with myself. Beanie is back here and I've got a good friend Toasty in today. We've got Ryan and Lou on production as well and we're on buying toast. Yeah, we are on a bind, a pretty standard map pick. Um, at least I found, uh, I think a send bind are your pretty solid ones that you oftentimes see. Uh, obviously, I haven't seen what what tends to be the norm here in these weekly skirmishes. It is my first time here after all, uh, but I'm excited to see what we're going to get here on a bind. Um, and with the new agent fade being released as well, that's going to spice things up a little bit here. Yeah, I've seen some very good fade players in our community already, and as we see, Jamie is hovering that. Just a little shout out, the last time I casted, Jamie was in the final, and they won it, so uh, I think I might be banned from casting if he wins a, yet another one. Uh, but we see a Cypher here as well. The controllers are huge on this map, especially B-side, especially um, with potentially like a Killjoy uh, and holding down that one spot, especially with the fast TPs. But Bind is a huge map we see pretty weekly, pretty often, pretty often. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty... I think it's easy to lock down either one of these sites if you have a Smoker and a Sentinel uh, playing there. Like you say, the Killjoy, usually common on Bind, but we're not actually seeing it here. Um, we're going to see, it, it seems like, this side of uh, 8B are going to be tending towards a Cypher Sage setup. Um, and you've got the Sage here as well for Team Jam, but they are not running the Cypher. They're running the Phoenix, which is a little bit of an interesting pick here. Yeah, Emperor has uh, been around the goose now for a little while. I think this may potentially be his first tournament for a while. Uh, and yeah, Phoenix is someone you just you just don't see picked often at all, right? So it's kind of a little bit of a weird one. But uh, as we get here, we again, thanks to Lou for doing the production. And so we're going to see some flying around the map. We're going to see the uh, high level that we know she can do. Sage going obviously over to this A side is kind of a normal one, but with those new boxes, what do you think about the new walls that have got to kind of come out for this? Uh, sorry, repeat that question. I said no. So obviously the Sage wall on short was always a big one, as we oh, see course, them yeah. all kind of looking up here. But obviously you've got those boxes there that could just jump over it with these flashes and mollies coming from a Phoenix. This could be a very quick entry. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I like that change that happened to Bind a little bit ago. You get to jump over those boxes. Uh, the wall gets a little bit less value over there. Um, you will, of course, still see the Sage going for that, putting it a bit forward this time around. But now, with everyone shooting at it, they're going to know uh, on the defensive side here that there's a potential A hit coming through from the attackers. Yeah, the Brim Smokes, though, are going to be at... They're just trying to see if there's a fast push here, but nothing from Scovid just sitting there in... Uh, in lamps but here comes the emperor's flash and see if potentially coming out ghosts all the way around here as you're gonna see the rainer and the brim actually sitting over that b side the smokes are gonna go down the tripwire is gonna get one scovid straight away there like i said in lamps with a shot straight away on emperor that's the phoenix and flashes down the wall's gonna go up and it's planting straight away with jamie no just gonna fake it flash coming out there's one gets one there with apathy sky potentially two oh mills just there in a flash You've got Yorks coming around. Potentially could have taken a shot there. Going to get the brim and it's just down to a 2v1. One enemy remaining. And unfortunately, Lloyd is just around the back of spawn. You're going to hear this running. The rain is going to be there. April, have you got the shot for down? And then straight away. That was a, a round that could have gone either way. And I feel like the plant should have just gone down for the money. Yeah, it really should have. Um, I think if you're going to rush on the site like that, like the attackers did there on the side of Team Jam, uh, I think you've just got to get that plant down and go for it, even if that wall did get broken and the sky peeked through it. Um, very good play from 8B as well to, to you know, peek through that and actually put pressure on the spike. Uh, I think that plant should have gone down. I think they should have committed. You know, it's a pistol round. You've got to try and get a good econ going early on. Uh, did lose a round here, so they're not going to be able to buy this round, and actually it's going to be the Spectre buy coming through from the defender's side. So... They get a bit of an advantage here. Yeah, it's a bit of a weird one, wasn't it? You just think the commitment was there. And Zappy's got oh, the head dinked as well on that brim. And very much down to low, low HP. And they're going to have to smoke this one out. But normally we see a little bit of a fast push with these pistols going in, especially in this elo. The site is just held down. You've got the Cypher sitting there as well. But the Cypher is, is as well trapped up as... They know Emperor and Lloyd is sitting there here, but they can't do anything about it. And they're just going to try and play a waiting game here. I wonder if this Sage over on this A site is going to potentially pick anything or create some noise to potentially get anyone away. But it's like a stalemate. We haven't frozen here, guys. We are still live. 
as a uh, no one has gone up long just yet actually as a good point as we go through just really yeah. playing this is something you just don't see in other elos this is amazing gameplay something you see from stuff like vct and masters but they're playing it's also so and that sky is there straight away with the spectre taking one gets done by jay uh, jam with the uh, shorty but mill is down to no hp here and the heal comes out but York straight away with that Cypher. Cam aim almost. I don't think there was much they could do there. Yeah, it was a lovely off angle, honestly, from Deadeye to make sure they couldn't push through Hooker there. And it did feel um, as if, even though there was that slow play, even if there was a little bit of an attempt to try and uh, maybe bait a rotation from the defender side, the defender stayed consistent. They held their angles and, you know, they, they, they got three kills off of it there on Deadeye. Um, I do think there needed to be more long control potentially taken there or potentially even a rotation over to the A site. If you're going to play slow like that, you've got to try and gain information. It didn't feel like they had much of it there. Yeah, I feel like long was definitely something that wasn't uh, contested at all. So we're going to see a headshot straight away. Oh, 8B is absolutely on one right now with three rounds in. Going to see two or three people. Guess another headshot as well. And Emperor, this Phoenix cannot do any entry right now because it's just getting taken out as they step up. Deddy is here on the brim. Potentially going to get one back as well. And we see them pushing on that long, just as we said. But they know where these other two are. The slow coming out. This is not needed to be pushed. We're going to see a Rainer coming around the back here. They're going to have to push round, but the noise coming out from this jet is is going to be heard out from this sky. Ooh. Wanted to get greedy there for a boat, a bigger gun. This cam angle here. <laughs> that's a, The best thing about finding these ones, as we see the new jet is already uh, blasted away. The E doesn't have long to dash and is now just wasted. So two kills now gone needed for another dash. Pretty big for a jet. He's on lockdown site. Reyno is still sitting on this A site here as well, and he can't see the cipher traps. The updraft being hit, heard straight away. And slow orb, unfortunately, not really getting it fully. April is here for it, though. Oh, I love this lurk from April. Did you get it line up? Oh, that was close to lining up for a double, but the updraft there from Lloyd just unfortunately saved it. But that's a nice free Reaver skin Vandal there for April. <laughs> yeah, uh, arguably it's the superior uh, Vandal skin, but April, very nice look there in showers. Um, really, if you're going to play in long like that for, for an extended amount of time, the defenders are going to have that read, right? They're going to realize that you, that TP is very accessible to the players playing there, um, the jet uh, specifically. You know, if they go through that TP, uh, the Reyna obviously was there to deal with it. So uh, good mindfulness there coming through from April. And now coming into this round, another pistol round. It's not looking great for the attackers here. No, uh, Dog already invested as well, given that the fact that April is in this showers, potentially not actually know who was there, but orb taken. Emperor's gonna just Get out ghost. Of my way. Pistol versus Reaver. Here's a um, sheriff here. <sighs> Close, wanted to stick that, but April gets the shot. And again, this sky is doing work here. I want to know the first bloods on this sky right now. On this defender side, it's five and three we're looking at. But this April is five and oh. Yeah. Three ultimates up as well for the defensive side. So you can see that this is probably not going to go there, uh, the attacker's side way, as they're already moving over quite quickly. Something we haven't seen already. Flash coming out. Deddy gets dead in... Uh, Mill, that's a uh, sheriff. If they can get on site. They can collect a couple of guns here. The plant's actually going to go down. I think it's one, two. Jamie gets a lovely tap there on, but then the sky, yeah. the current sky diff right now is is huge. Yeah, absolutely. And what I want to mention there as well is when that Phoenix of Emperor was playing over towards the A site, they would have loved to build up a potential execute or at least get a couple of kills uh, in showers there. But the problem with playing the Phoenix here, and you know, it's why it's not played in the pro play pretty much at all at the moment, is because you need to be like you just don't have the utility to push into showers like that, right? As a Phoenix, you've got to be close up to those walls, got to be close up to that Rainer. You don't love taking those close range fights. You lose your peekers advantage at that point. So. Um, really not great for the Phoenix in that situation. And later on in the round, it was just great gameplay coming through from the defenders to back up that, that um, plan after it came through. 
uh, especially in elbows. So great positioning coming through, uh, at least in the post plant there for the defender side. But now you're going to get a rifle round coming through from the attackers, so it might look a little bit better for them. Emperor now getting a frag there. The sky potentially getting a little bit too uh, too hasty. Does Deddy know that someone has actually gone past the smoke? Jam getting Deddy down, so they're potentially pushing a little bit too hard here and may lose this round now, which is what the attackers need here. They're bang onto this B site, this, the TP coming through. They know someone's now in that mid of B. Two coming around the back here. April, though, better on Jam. Sniff on site. Can they get anywhere near? Scovid has snuck themselves around this elbow. Unfortunately, Jamie is better to it. 22 HP. Still has a heal if they can get a kill. This could go down. Yorgs, unfortunately, Lloyd is the better of this one this time. And that was a great round for the attackers. A bit, of, a bit more aggression shown from the defensive side, though. Yeah, I, I mean, that was an, a, a, like a great attempt at the po uh, at the retake there for the defenders, right? Uh, they had one in elbow, one in CT, and then one coming from Hooker. Unfortunately, couldn't get the timing quickly enough, though, and uh, a gr good aggressive push onto elbow by the attacker side. Uh, now coming into this round, they've at least bolstered their economy just a little bit. Um, you'll see a full buy come through from them, of course. With, a, with four rounds on the board here, the defenders are also going to be fine in the econ, and they have four ultimates to boot. The only thing they're missing is that resurrect, but as long as they don't die, they don't need that so they should be chilling here yeah and the attackers here i think with jamie on the sky and the alt used as we just about to say heard me they can get some information here quite quickly and the jet can get itself onto the site with this dash as you see it's already pre-loaded and ready to go there's the brim ult just about to try and clear out they've got to clear this left hand side though one walks three for daddy though we just missed that out of nowhere Enemy gets a res on Jam, April Scovid trying to get down melee, Scovid gets the Sage at kill, the opposing number, but out of nowhere there, the defender's brim, or the attacking brim just came, um, no it was the defender's brim, apologies, yeah. coming in, just got three out of nowhere, we, we missed it. Uh, yeah, we missed it, and, and that's happened twice now. Um, I believe it was in the third round that it actually happened there, where the Brim just got a 3k um, playing on that B site. And really, if you're able to take those off angles like that and play off of the attacker aggression, it's great stuff coming through. It feels like a lot of the time the attackers are kind of rushing in here, not checking for Deadeye on those corners. Deadeye has been really deadly, uh, no pun intended, and hopefully coming into the rest of this round, we'll see the same. You see... You know, a bit of an A hit coming through. A very fast one here. Yeah, as we go to see the side trap just slowing down Emperor and <laughs> going through, but it's going to run it back. Obviously, April and York's getting a frag each. These head taps coming through. Applebee, unfortunately, 8B just changing the weapon at the wrong time. This guy has been really aggressive recently and uh, yeah. just, just feeling themselves in the aim. And unfortunately, now going backwards on the leaderboard. They're going to now try and play this slow. They've got to try and get some information out. The Phoenix ult has just been used. There's no ults on the side of this attacking team. Yeah. One of their entry on Lloyd has just gone down. The Smokes has gone down as well. Not sure how much util Jamie still has to use. The Flash could be up any second. But two and two on each side. They need to potentially run this down quite quickly. Yeah, that seems to be the aim here, but no Sova on the board, nothing to really gather information other than the Sky Dog. If they can get Scobit around the corner with that, should be good, and they're going to make a U-Haul push here for it. 30 seconds left. Yeah, the Flash coming out, this perfect from Emperor, just getting that frag in. The best way of running through here is there is a Cypher Trap. And the Brim ult as well coming out, it's 30 HP for April, just about getting away. The rest of the team are coming in. You've got 10 seconds here, Mill, just to get the plant down just for some money. But Emperor is still there as well with a shot on April in, in buffs. Slowing down Yorks here. He's got the cam sitting there just outside Hooker. Or well, Lamps, apologies. Oh, did I? Yorks has got it. Deddy is yeah. there. Mill to fill it, but York's coming through with another 3k here, and this cypher is proving uh, hard to get through. 
Yeah, I was very scared for Deadeye there. They didn't check that corner to their right, but uh, fortunately the Cypher was there to clean up on them and the Sage that was remaining there as well. Great stuff coming through from Yorgs. Uh, and really, you know, we've seen a lot of individual play here from a lot of the members of Team 8B. It's not just Deadeye, it's not just Yorgs or April, right? It's everyone here putting in the, the work. I mean, Scovid is bottom fragging, you know, but th that's not a great indicator of what the Sage is doing, which is just holding down these angles, getting good walls through. It's very good gameplay coming through here from 8B squad, and it seems like the lack of information gathering here is so detrimental for the attacking side. That, if you look, it's, I, I feel they're a very, very good defensive setup, and I think they actually chose defense first. They, they want to get some yep. leaderboard. They want to get some points on the leaderboard. Lovely shot there from Abby. Absolutely <laughs> feeling themselves right now. And the duelists are gone now. There's no real engage opportunities now for the attackers. No, and they're all on just shares, but Jam gets the, uh, the fire and deadly. 8B's eight, eight just running and gunning now. Just going to press W here. Jam's on low health. Dog's going to come out and show exactly where they are, but you've got a Rainer that's coming from behind you. April is there, obviously taking kills. Yorgs as well, and this gameplay from this team. I, I don't know how many more. Would you be happy with two or three going into the halftime? <laughs> Yeah, honestly, uh, it's just so dominant here for the defenders on Team 8B. Uh, and really, that was all 8B's call there, right? Pushing down B long, taking that aggressive angle, and being able to catch two of the duelists that were playing around there. I'm not sure why that why both duelists were pushing B long um, without supporting the rest of their team on a potential Safety you know uh, B site hit. But um, either way, got punished by 8B there. Great call on their uh, heart, you know, on their part. Great read coming through from them. And I don't see this dominance stopping anytime soon. A good wall here, actually, from Scovid. Yeah, because as, you know the way they're going to walk up onto that is April's already got a frag here again. They're just going so fast. The aggression. Up. They are playing aggressively. Look where Appy is right now on the map. Gets taken down, but it's information straight away. As you see the brim, Deddy just moving straight up into market just to keep the pressure on them. Emperor's just playing slow here, but he he knows the operator's there. Just been moved back. As they're gonna rotate around here, but look where look where the brimstone is. Just Watch moving back. Smoke down. They're Good just read. wasting time here. It's absolutely perfect. Yeah, I love this. And the brim has a lot of stalling capabilities here. It has a stim so they can shoot at some chokes. They have that molly that they they can use into hookah. It's very nice to have the Brim on B site here, and they're going to do just that. Look at the molly. Oh, I thought Jam was going to get done there from Ed, but the shot just didn't not quite go through. The molly was used on both sides as well. The dash is in. Yorks is just sitting in a smoke here, having fun. We know the Brim smokes last absolutely forever. He's going to get joined by Scovid here as well. So there's two here. Gets the one. Yorks, they're trading through. They're looking at angles here, getting the flash out. Yorks gets another one. Jamie gets down. And Lloyd gets the trade on Scovid. I think like they had a good play there, but the, the Sky Flash just done them over. Yeah, great attacking around there. At least they get another round on the board. Uh, they'll be able to get a rifle by coming through this round. You might have light shields on uh, Millie. Actually, no, they're gonna they're gonna get bought by the teammates. So uh, should be completely fine in terms of the economy here. And really. If they can keep up the attacking rounds like that, where they kind of play it slow, but then uh, burst through Hooker onto Deadeye like they did there, you know, good stuff coming through. I mean, you could argue it was an unlucky timing for Deadeye, Molly at the time that the attackers were peaking, but uh, yeah, just timings like that need to happen more and more for the attackers. They need to take those opportunities when they have them. Yeah, we'll have a look at the scoreboard properly after this round. Some steps already hit now. I think they're trying to hit a fast A push here. Lloyd just spraying for that wall and getting one of the top fraggers, April, down. That's a huge, huge hit. I'm going to smoke out straight away, but Lloyd's getting another one on Deddy. This is Lloyd's round. Lloyd wants this. The Jet is angry, wants to get it out there, wants to become their MVP. And But you still got the likes of 8B, Scovid, and Yorks, who have all been absolute killer here. Gives all the information needs to know. Quick flash in, flash out. That's Appy down, but traded by Jamie. Lloyd again with a three here. Those knives improving very well. York though gets one. 30 HP and a dream. And Mill comes around the corner. These uh, attack inside seems to be warming up now. Yeah, it seems like they're starting at least to get into their groove. Uh, 
better tunnel vision there, I would say, from Yorgs at the end. You know, in those clutch situations, got to be covering all your options and not leaving yourself in that kind of exposed position. But can't blame them. It's a clutch scenario. You know, I'm bronze. If I was in that situation, I would not have done any of the things I'm talking about right now. So, uh, you know, got to give respect to Yorgs for at least trying there. And now coming into this round, I mean, I'd expect this Empress to come through pretty early in the round in showers as a defender aggression, but the entirety of the attackers are on B site. It could be unfortunate for them, but I don't think April's going to rush into using it. No, I think they're potentially going to use the Cypher here to create a little kill and find a body, find a corpse. Use that Cypher to give some more information out. The timing of oh. that AP is just on fire tonight. Yeah, but, great timing there. You know, following up on the fact that, that Phoenix was trying to play aggressive in B long, and that's happened once before as well. 8B loves playing B long. Yeah, and April is here to trade as well. And Yorks is there as well, but Jamie gets Yorks down. The trade's coming through. Spike, Spike down. down. Jamie, you've got a flash and try. Oh, so close, April, with those uh, with the flash spray. But just going to get surrounded here, and Deddy comes around the back. They're playing really aggressively, right but safe at the same time. And I feel like if this Rainer can get Last the ult going off as well as the Cypher, I, I, I honestly I think it could be a 9 3 half time. As we take a quick look at the scoreboard, you can just see 12 6, 12 8, 12 5. Deddy's 9 and 7. I don't think that score really shows uh, how they've been playing, but ultimates, on, ultimates galore on the just defensive side. And all of the ultimates up here for the defenders. They're going to use all of them in this round, I would imagine. Uh, they got that Sage ultimate from the orb last round. Great play there, but... Oh, 8B. Oh, Jam gets there. And the best thing there is uh, Emperor didn't actually get hit at all going into that. But they're all on this A site as the ultimate's going to come out. Are they going to... Miss time. I'm going to play the ultimate as well. I'd be very surprised if they do. Into elbow potentially, yeah. I wouldn't mind that. No, he's going to be backside. As you're going to see Jet nearly dashing into it, but I potentially would have held on to that as uh, they've now blocked him in. The res is out. Top frag Appy is in. Jamie gets Deddy down in uh, elbow. But Yorks is still here. There we go. Where's That's the a great ult. You know it. Everyone, Scovid, Yorks picking everyone up. The Seeker's now invested as well. We don't know how this is going to survive, but they've got to hit some good shots. Last play of standing. Lloyd gets the one. Unfortunately, gets everybody util thrown at them. And April gets the final frag. 9-3 half time. Yeah, and the informational prowess of the ultimates of the AB side right now. I mean, that was just a brilliant retake from them using those ultimates to the fullest extent, right? Uh, you had, um, I believe it was uh, 8B pushing in from Hooker. Uh, got rezzed up by Scovid, actually. So great use of that ultimate to bring back the Seekers and let them actually use those from Hooker. Uh, arguably led to them actually getting that final cleanup kill as they were nearsighted by that. And as well, Yorgs, good timing on using uh, that Cypher ultimate as well. Gives them so much information on whether attackers are playing uh, in that post plan. I, I can't, I really can't fault these retakes coming through from the defenders. Sometimes it goes askew for them, but oftentimes it just seems like they're, you know, making it work out. And it's 9-3, to three, so you could argue there's a bit of a 9-3 to three curse going on here. But with how dominant the side of 8B has been, I, I can't really fault them. No, their aim has been absolutely on point as well. As normally when you see a really good defensive side, their attacking isn't going to be great. But just like that, 8B has been leading from the front here. As the plant is now going to go down, some money in the bank. Emperor just unfortunately coming out of that smoke, and AB is absolutely on fire here. The sky is down to um, the sage is down to no HP. Health just being regen. No, April has got the kill. Well, AB was almost asleep there, but just managed to get the trade in. But Lloyd Wait. too with the sheriff. Dash is Ooh. ready to go. Clutch Three potential on here. Very big clutch potential here. You can see a noble chair's clutch. <gasps> Free. Oh, the dash still alive. Nearly got into that. Look how close they were to that molly as well. That could have been a bad way of going after a nice 3k. Yeah, I mean, it was a lovely uh, attempt there from Lloyd. I'll tell you that much. They've been turning up in, in the best of times here for the side of Jam, but uh, alas, didn't quite work out of there. 
And it was honestly a, a cheeky attempt, I believe, from Emperor early on in the round as well to try and molly that spike as Skurva just planting it. They actually went low because of that. Um, I thought they would get killed off, uh, but no, AB was there in lamps to prevent them from you know getting killed off by any potential defenders trying to retake that position. But now it's going to be a bit more of a... Uh, a slow push here, I think, for the attackers. They don't want to rush in like they did last time. Yeah, but they know the defensive team probably don't have much of a buy here. Um, so it's, it's going to be a bit of a weird one coming through. Ooh, what? Neo is uh -huh. potentially just turned off a few brain cells for a second. There's a lot of flashes coming out. Jamie's got to try and share it. Get a, a couple of right clicks in there, but Emperor's here as well with a flash. Jam is up behind. What is going on? Because of the cypher traps laid out behind. Great shot there. And now Phoenix with a spectre here. Unfortunately, the timing as well. Scoven and Daddy are just two. That these guys are just way too clean. And that is a Red Bull ace there. Are, 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 they, are they clean? Or were the defenders just kind of uh, like throwing there? I, ca I can't tell which that was. You had... The Sage just jumping out into showers, wide peeking it with a with a shorty in hand. You then had the inspirational aim coming through from the player in lamps. I mean, what is going on here for the defensive side? I, I have no idea. I can't explain it to you. It's like my bronze games, but uh, alas, yeah. hopefully they can get something better done here. They get a buy on the board, so... A couple of judges coming out here from the Sage and the Jam on the Brimstone. So there's a judge on each side and that wall was up and got torn down rather, rather quickly. The Cypher is sitting here on B long though as the Jet looks potentially going to move quickly. Jam is sitting here. How many do you think we're going to get here with this judge? We love every, every week. Zero. We know it's your first time here. Every week we love to see a shotgun play. It doesn't work. The, the, do the dog's here. What? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no words for what has just happened there. Uh, and the extra judge comes through out of nowhere as well. Yeah, I, I think that's a clip, right? It doesn't work into a 3K, just running W. And Jam just took that, heard what you said, and just went, well, how about watch this? Is that a weekly occurrence? Huh? How does that even happen? Like... How do, okay, first of all, how does a sky dog miss that that brimstone jumping over it? Secondly, there were there were rifles. There were rifles on the board there for the attacker side. How do they not just gun down jam? How do they get three? I mean, I guess I guess you get the collateral shots there, but oh my it's word, a, this, this truly is like my bronze game. It's a goose house special every every single week. We I love to it. have a judge or a shorty or some kind of shotgun play. We love to see it. And uh, it's just a good bit of fun. But yeah, Jam just walked through there with good old W as <laughs> April and the gang are sitting here on short with AB. They haven't really tried pushing showers, as we're going to see April was king of showers. If they can get the orb right. here, honestly, for April, this could be big. You know, you get the orb, get a kill, activate that Empress, and you basically guarantee a round win. That yeah, rain is so powerful, ready Empress to online. Go. Oh, the Seekers are ready on this, uh, not on Jamie, but on 8B. So, can get a lot of information here as we see a jet trying to come up behind them, but the cypher traps are there. AB gets the pick and the heal straight away, so it's 40 odd seconds until this heal, but Lloyd knows there's a trap here. I've got your trail. Zeke is being invested straight away. Three kind of shit on site. They're looking to try and push this, but the Phoenix has just chucked a molly down to get through. 8B comes straight through with a nice headshot. Yorks gets Empress as, uh, Emperor as well. Jam gets back a good old trade on 8B, but he's now got to play away from site on this Brimstone. As Lloyd was coming up behind, so waiting for their teammate, but unfortunately, it's a 4v1 situation. Jam does have good shots, but the timing on that, unfortunately, April comes right round the side and then gets him out of default. Yeah, a bit unfortunate there, I can't lie. That was very clutchable, but the timing just went a little bit wrong for them. Uh, I'm surprised that in that round, April didn't manage to build up the Empress. Um, had potential to get an orb, had potential to get a kill. Um, but still doesn't have the Empress online. No ultimates actually here uh, for the attacking side. They are very close to, to three of them though, so... I should say that much, but Jam really needs to get value out of this orbital strike. It's going to be a hard B hit, probably pushing up through short here. And Yorks gets a shot straight away on Lloyd in. I know exactly. And there's the Cypher being loaded. Yep, so they know where exactly where to go. 
8B just comes and swings Jam straight away as Jams was flashed. Jamie now coming through. Misses a few shots there. Scover just being really nice and clean. Could this be the game match winning? They got to push this. There's nothing else to really do. New York's getting burnt out, but not too much there. What? Emperor gets it through. Potentially hurt the steps and the burning. Last player standing. Just to take a shot as Mill is now down. Emperor gets down and April gets that for a nice Red Bull team ace. And attackers win that one. And that was a very, very clean game from the attacking side and team 8B. Yeah, excellent gameplay coming through from Team 8B there. And as I understand it, it's the best of one, right? So uh, that is the series going the way of Team 8B. Uh, 354 ACS coming through there from that top fragger of 8B. And, um, you know, while their teammates were trailing pretty closely behind, it did feel a bit like the AB show there. I can't lie, especially on their defense. They had that B-long aggression. I love that kind of stuff on bind, right? Using every single pathway, every single route through that map uh, to try and take map control. It's kind of like Haven in a way where a lot of players on the defensive side on Haven will take A lobby. In this situation, it's a lot of defenders on B site on bind will take B long because it's so powerful. 8B did that so much on their defense and then the offense, I mean, it was all just steamrolling from their great stuff coming through. I can't lie from the team 8B. Congratulations on their win here in our uh, weekly tournament. Yeah, and uh, six first bloods, that's what I wanted to see on 8B. Six first Absolutely. bloods. Yeah. It's, uh, not often you see that from a sky, but the information and the follow-up was incredible. But we do these each and every week. Next week, it's our ELO. It's uh, gold and below. So the bronze <laughs> and silvers, we, we get a good bit of fun next week. Exactly yeah. the same format. We run two or three games into a final. You're more than welcome to join us. Join our Discord channel. Join out and get signed up. And uh, we shall potentially be casting you or playing with you next week uh and it's uh thanks from me thanks from uh, a big big thanks to lou and ryan as always for the amazing production and broadcasting toast did you enjoy yourself absolutely it was a great time here in my first week casting the uh the goose house weekly skirmishes so uh, i hope to be here for a lot more of these especially if that judge gameplay is going to be coming through a bit more frequently <laughs> Yeah, I think that uh, that could potentially go into our clip of the month as we do run other competitions and uh, win stuff like Red Bull and discounts here and there. But uh, have a great rest of your Monday evening and we shall see you next week.